what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm big rob and i post pokemon go videos every single day if that is something that you're interested in or something that you enjoy please smack the subscribe button down below today's video i'm basically going to try to catch my moltres uh for my breakthrough i actually missed a day so i'm catching it today which is friday so i'm a day behind now um, but the only problem is I don't have any Pokeballs, so I need to gather some Pokeballs to catch my Moltres. And then we will be talking about the new APK mine that the Silf Road basically uncovered. All the new features and stuff that have been added to the game. Um, I think it's rolling out already for Android or should be soon by the time this video is out. And maybe even for iOS. So, uh, yeah. See you in a minute. Alright, I should now have enough supplies to catch my Moltres. So, the moment of truth is now. Let's see if it's a good one. 2,000 Stardust, 5 Pineapps, 3,000 Experience. Let's see, let's see. Start Encounter. 1384? I think it's decent, but it's not like super good. I think perfect is 1402 if I remember correctly. So, it's not super good, but it's not super trash. Um, speaking of Moltres, starting May 1st, the new breakthrough poke, people cursing in the background. Anyways, the new breakthrough Pokemon will be Zapdos with um, field research tasks that um, test our skills as a trainer more. At least that's what um, <laughs> was said according to Niantic in their post about it being Zapdos for the month of May. So as some people predicted, it actually is going to change from month to month, which is awesome for, Moltres be dodging me, for rural players who did not get to catch any of the first legendaries, which I'm super happy about. I'm super happy that they are finally doing something for rural players. Next month, May 1st after 1 p.m. So if you happen to have your, uh, your field research breakthrough lined up for May 1st. Wait until after 1 p.m. to claim that, to claim your stamp and to claim your box because, yeah. Why is this Moltres giving me so much trouble? Every other one I've caught has just been caught really fast. And this one just keeps breaking out. It's giving me so much trouble, even with a golden Raz. Like, why? Why does it seem harder to catch this? Is it because it's like high IVs? One, two, Really? I feel like it's gonna flee from me. I'm scared it's gonna run away with golden razes and good. It feels like an actual raid boss. Like, what? What? I thought these were supposed to be easier to catch. This has broken out on me so many times already. I'm stressed. Oh. Great toss. Golden Raz, great ball, let's see. One, two, finally. Okay, finally it was caught. So, Moltres in the bag. I am a day late, like I said earlier, I missed uh, a day. Look at all these Whelmer. Claim this reward, oh, I shouldn't have claimed that so fast. I should have waited till after midnight so I got my first stamp. I've shiny checked all of these Whelmer and Carp. They're not shiny. You saw my video yesterday though. You might want to peep that and see what shiny I caught. As for the rest of the video, let's find a new spot to sit at and I will go over all of the updates that are going to be implemented uh, from the APK mine that Silk Road went over. Let's go. All right guys, we are in a better spot. Better lighting. I have room to stand around and move around. Let's go over the Silk Road's APK data mine. I'm sure most of you have already seen what they've added um, from other YouTubers or looking at the site yourself, but I decided I would go over it. Um, it's probably going to be out on Android and maybe iOS by the time you guys see this video on Sunday, so yeah, but here is what they found. New in version 0.101.0. Quest updates, a new move, and Pokestop submission hints. Get ready for some skill-based field research tasks, travelers. Version 0.101.0 has begun propagation on Android and iOS, will soon follow in preparation for the announced May 1st field research update, which will bring Zapdos's return to new quest objectives, which I just talked to you guys like two seconds ago about. 
Um, Zapdos is here for the month of May for Field Research Breakthrough. If you have your stuff timed, your stamps lined up right, you will get four chances, I believe, to catch a Zapdos for the month of May. As for me, like I said earlier, I missed a day, so I'm not sure how many chances I'm actually going to get. New Field Research Objectives. The way field research objectives interact with jam and raid battles has been slightly reworked travelers or previously the two objectives complete raid battle and complete gym battle were utilized two additional objectives have appeared alongside them join raid and complete battle additionally a new research victory condition has appeared win battle status alongside the existing win gym battle status condition these updates and additions point to increased focus on battle victories in field research tasks which i mean we already had those field research tasks or already have them right now win a raid win a gym battle so i don't understand exactly why or what they might be doing to change that and i guess we'll find out when the month of may hits one new move smackdown one additional move has been added to the apk's move dictionary a fast move smackdown nine species in gen one through three can learn this move inherently geodude graveler and golem onyx Rhyhorn and rhydon Steelix, Anorith, and Armaldo, and 46 other can learn it via TM, including Tyranitar. We have no idea when this move is going to be released or utilized in the game yet, but this could add some interesting, uh, interesting counters for raid bosses and such if it does get released soon, which I'm hoping it does. New gift box, community day box. Basically they add a new graphic, which you'll see right here. A yellow box with a blue ribbon will be the permanent picture for all community day boxes. that will be released, of course, on community day for those three hours for you to buy. This is a big one, guys. Pokestop submission clues. More updates have appeared showing progress towards Pokemon Go points of interest submissions in this apk metadata revolving around points of interest photo uploads has appeared particularly the ability to upload photos by url several error codes image too big and feature disabled have appeared alongside it this is huge for us and so huge for rural players they'll actually be able to potentially submit pictures of points of interest in their cities that can be added as pokemon go stops or gems which is honestly big huge i really hope that they implement this really really soon because honestly a lot of people need this seeing glitched weather now you can report it this is another huge one um, we know that the weather system is a little bit iffy sometimes you'll be in your town and it'll be raining and it won't be raining uh in game or it can be the opposite it won't be raining where you are but it's raining in game now apparently they've added a new feature where you can actually report that a new reporting feature has been added to flag problematic in-game weather. This is an interesting development that perhaps points to Niantic's openness to exploring additional weather data providers than the current data source, which is huge because honestly, I don't know where exactly they're getting their weather data from, but it's not always accurate and sometimes it's really aggravating because it'll be windy or whatever weather you might need to weather boost a raid boss and it won't reflect in-game, which is really, really annoying. They added a new a mythical search term. So in other words, when you search mythical in your Pokemon inventory, mythical Pokemon such as Mew will pop up. Other than that, there isn't anything really major. Just a couple tweaks on banned player codes and item sprite scales. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is going to cover the APK. Like I said, you guys probably already have gotten all this other information from other YouTubers or the site itself. Um, but I thought I'd fill you guys in and maybe give my little opinion on it. So yeah, it is currently almost midnight right now. Um, I'm out here at the grind spot that I'm always at at night, grinding for some stardust. And I think my phone stopped recording yet again. So I'm gonna have fun <laughs> editing all of that information into the video. Oh well, it's okay, it's worth it guys. I hope you got some little bit of information or some better understanding of the APK mine through me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go grind, get some more stardust, and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Alright guys, this is honestly gonna wrap this video. I am exhausted. I've been up since 6 a.m. I had to go to work, got off work, met up with some people in the video you saw yesterday. Pogo Go, by the way, check them out. Link in the description again, because we need to get them to 100 subs so they can stream on YouTube Gaming out and about while they're playing Pokemon Go. Please, guys, you won't regret it. 
you won't regret it check them out um, yeah anyways this is gonna wrap up this little video I just wanted to uh, go over the APK mine with you even though you guys probably already know uh, most of all of that information oh there is something I forgot to include now apparently you can activate lucky eggs and hopefully star pieces I'm not sure about star pieces yet but you can activate a lucky egg from the raid lobby, which is honestly going to come in clutch for a lot of trainers. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm going home to go to sleep. It's like 1 a.m. right now. I am out here at the pier grinding, but I'm going home now to sleep. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.